Why did the Rebels not use old Venator-class Star Destroyers? We know that there were thousands of Venators most likely left over after the war, and given that the Alliance's stated goal was the reinstatement of the Republic, it seems like it would only make too much sense. Still, besides for some fan and ships, we've never actually seen a Rebel Venator, and there's a good reason for that. The Alliance did rely on Starfighter superiority, and the Venator was a great carrier. However, for most of the war, Alliance Starfighter tactics were predicated on hit-and-run attacks with hyperdrive-capable Starfighters. They would basically jump into a system, attack a target, and then leave. The Venator, on the other hand, excels at carrying short-range starfighters, which wasn't really useful to the Alliance because they didn't frequently actually stay to slug it out with Imperial Capital ships. The Venator would have also been very crew-intensive and lacked the survivability of Mon Calamari cruisers. The Rebels did use some Clone Wars-era ships, though. We see, for example, Rebel One, which was a heavily upgraded and most likely automated Providence cruiser.